has sold over a billion iPhones and after a relatively underwhelming phase of new iPhone releases, we think that the Cupertino based company has hit the sweet spot with the new iPhone 7. There really is quite a lot to talk about the new iPhone 7 and we want to keep this video sharp yet loaded with information. So without much ado, let's know everything that's there to be known about the new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. We will break down the new iPhone into 10 segments and explain each part in detail as we move forward. Let's get going with the design part. Apple is obsessive as ever about the design of their smartphones and with iPhone 7 they seem to have taken the game a notch higher. To start with, the iPhone 7 and Plus are being offered in two new shades of a glossy shiny jet black and another not so glossy and shiny shade called, well, black. As Johnny Ive describes, the new phone gets an aluminum body and glass sheets for that seamless shape. The camera housing is sculpted into the body itself for the typically Apple premium construction. The antenna has been embedded within the enclosure on the sides and partly on top. Apple has tried to make it invisible, though it's still visible if you look hard enough. The showstopper, however, is the new jet black variant, for which Apple created a new process altogether. Rotational 3D polishing using specialized compounds was used to brush the surfaces of the housing for a super smooth mirror-like finish. Finally, a magnetized ultra-fine particle bath was used to polish the anodized area for that shine which erases the visual line between the glass and metal used. The new iPhone features stereo speakers for the first time, placed at the top and bottom. The bottom part of the phone also gets a lightning cable port. On the right, you have the power button along with the SIM tray. On the left, you get the silent switch with volume buttons positioned right below. The front panel gets a new solid state force sensitive home button, while the back gets a quad LED cluster and single and dual cam setups on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus variants respectively. While we haven't had the chance to hold the phone, the iPhone 7 and Plus, especially in the new jet black versions, look rather stunning in the official photos and videos. While we're talking about the camera in the second spot, it actually is the headline news about the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus feature two different camera setups. Let's start with the one on the lower spec iPhone 7. The new camera features advanced optical image stabilization, claiming up to three times longer exposure as compared to the iPhone 6S. The 6S by itself is the gold standard in video image stabilization. We are amazed at the very thought of the kind of results the new camera could deliver. For better low light performance, the new camera features an f by 1.8 aperture which allows 50% more light over the 6S. The 6 element lens also plays its part in enhancing the camera's low light capabilities. The new 12 megapixel sensor on the phone is 60% faster and 30% more energy efficient. The phone now features a quad LED true tone flash which throws 50% more light. The setup also features a flicker sensor to cancel flickering effect when it detects one. The Apple designed image signal processor on the camera boasts twice the throughput of the previous version. It processes every image for more than 10 parameters including tone, sharpness, color and focus. It performs more than 100 billion operations in a mere 25 milliseconds to deliver results which Apple claims are unmatched by any other smartphone camera on the market. The new camera also gets a better version of live photos with video image stabilization and the ability to edit these images after taking them. For developers, the new camera offers APIs for capture, editing, raw format and wide color capture. The front camera on the iPhone 7 is a 7 megapixel full HD FaceTime unit. Some professional photographers were given access to the iPhone 7 camera and they have showered liberal praise on these shooters. Moving on to the iPhone 7 Plus camera, we were completely mind blown by what the bigger version of the new iPhone has to offer. The iPhone 7 Plus gets a twin camera setup comprising a duo of 12 megapixel sensors. One of these camera units is a wide angle shooter while the other one is a telephoto unit. This combo has allowed Apple to integrate an optical zoom right into a smartphone camera. So while taking a picture, right above the shutter button you get a circle reading 1x. Tap on it and it zooms into 2x. Hold on, swipe and it goes to 5x all the way up to 10x. Now anything above 2x isn't optical zoom, it is software zoom. But the results, thanks to the dual camera setup and if Apple's claims are to be believed, are as good as optical zoom. Another talking point about the iPhone 7 Plus's camera is its new real-time depth of field effect. 
In portrait mode, the camera has the capability to identify the subject and create a pronounced bokeh effect in real time while you are still taking the image. It really looks cool in Apple's presentation and one of the test photographers namely Jason Nosito has gone on to say that the new camera on the iPhone 7 Plus is going to be a game changer. We just can't wait to lay our hands on the new iPhone 7 and Plus's cameras. For now though, we will have to take Apple's word for it. Apple has done away with the 3.5mm jack, but the bigger news is these wireless Apple AirPods. Driven by the custom designed Apple W1 chip, the AirPods are claimed to offer superior sound while being ultra energy efficient. When you're talking, a voice accelerometer instantly cancels out external noise to capture your voice. With optical sensors and motion accelerometers, the AirPods automatically detect when they are plugged into your ears. You can use one or both AirPods and these things will begin playing as soon as they are in your ears. Each AirPod lasts 5 hours on a single charge. The battery case for the pod allows for 24 hours of reserve charge, while just 15 minutes of charging is good for 3 hours of music. You can just double tap either of the AirPods to activate Siri without taking your iPhone out of your pocket. The AirPods will also work with and switch between all your Apple devices automatically. The AirPods are priced at USD 159. Apple owned Beats is also coming out with a new range of headphones, leveraging the W1 chip and meshing the new products better with Apple software. The new range will comprise of models namely the Beats Solo 3 Wireless offering 40 hours of listening, Powerbeats 3 wireless for workouts and Beats X for lightweight all-day listening. Another big news with the new iPhone is its mind-boggling performance. Powered by the new A10 Fusion chipset, the iPhone 7 is touted as the most powerful smartphone on the planet. It gets a 64-bit 4-core CPU with two high-performance cores and two high-efficiency cores. The new processor is 40% faster than the previous A9 unit and two times faster than the A8 processor. The new phone also gets an all new GPU with 6 core graphic chip which is 50% faster than the A9 version and three times faster than the A8. The new Fusion chip uses an Apple designed performance controller to switch between the high performance or high efficiency cores. The high efficiency cores run on one fifth of the energy and can handle lighter tasks such as browsing and email easily while cutting down drastically on power consumption. Claimed to have the most powerful chip in a smartphone, the Apple iPhone 7 handled some devastatingly heavy graphics from an upcoming game with stupendous ease and without losing even a single frame during the demo. Impressive. The iPhone 7 gets a new Retina HD display. Using the same color space as the digital cinema industry, the new display is claimed to be 25% brighter with better color management. The power of the new screen was highlighted by Instagram's head of design, Ian Spalter, who ripped open his jacket to reveal a vivid tea inside, replicated beautifully on the iPhone 7 screen. In fact, his company has developed a new filter inspired entirely by a wide color gamut of the new phone. The iPhone 7 gets a 1334 into 750 pixel resolution on a 4.7 inch display, while the iPhone 7 Plus gets a 5.5 inch screen with 1920 into 1080 resolution. The 3D touch on the screen also allows you to handle messages, calendar, mail and other apps in a more powerful and responsive way. The rumors were true after all. Apple has gotten rid of the 3.5mm analog headphone jack. Connectivity is now through the lightning port but Apple has been kind enough to support backward compatibility. The Apple iPhone 7 and Plus boxes will be shipped with lightning to 3.5mm adapters. Apple asserts that the 3.5mm jack is a 100 year old standard and it was time to bid adieu to it. The reasons for parting with the setup were threefold. Courage for change, making space for newer tech within the phone enclosure and pursuing with their vision for creating a better audio experience for the users. As long as there is backward compatibility though, we are sure users won't mind whatever Apple's reasons may be. The Apple iPhone 7 and 7 Plus are water and dust resistant with IP67 protection standard. This means you can include the new phone in your outdoorsy lifestyle without any inhibitions. And that's wonderful news. For the first time the iPhone features stereo speakers, one at the top and one at the bottom. 
The new speakers, apart from growing in number, will also get an increased dynamic range and will be twice as loud as the ones on the iPhone 6s. The new home button on the iPhone 7 is force sensitive, solid state with new generation Taptic engine. It's meant to be durable and tactile and offers customizability too. Touch ID makes unlocking your iPhone easy, fast and secure while it can also be used for payments through Apple Pay in physical stores, in apps and on the web. In terms of battery, the iPhone will boast the longest battery life ever in an iPhone, though it's not a significant increase. The iPhone 7 will last 2 more hours than iPhone 6s, while the 7 Plus will last about 1 hour longer than the 6s Plus. In terms of network and connectivity, the iPhone 7 features LTE Advanced with speeds up to 450 Mbps for data downloads, over 50% faster than iPhone 6s. The iPhone 7 will come preloaded with iOS 10, which by itself boasts an array of new features including new capabilities for Siri and better integration with home automation, to name a few. The new iOS will officially be introduced on September the 13th. Lastly, Apple iPhone 7 and Plus and Watch 2 will have support for Felica, a Japan-specific version of NFC. Apple Pay for Japan will feature the tech, making it easier for the iPhone users in the Oriental region to use Apple Pay for their transactions. Apple is also introducing the transit feature in its map for the first time in Japan with the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. All in all, the iPhone 7 turned out to be a bit more exciting than what we had imagined. The new camera, AirPods, performance and design make it a really desirable piece of kit. The iPhone 7 will be available in 32, 128 and 256 gigs of storage and will start at a price of USD 649 or INR43K. The iPhone 7 Plus will also be available with similar storage options with a starting price of USD 749 or INR50K. What's good news for the prospective 6S and 6S Plus buyers is that the 16GB versions of the phones will get upgraded from 16 to 32 gigs. The pre-orders for the new phone have commenced from September 7 while shipping starts September 16. Do let us know your thoughts on the new phone and stay tuned while we lay our hands on a review unit for a detailed test. Do like and share this video if you found it useful. Until next time, enjoy. Before you leave, here's a little something we wanted to tell you. At Gizmoids, we are here to serve you smashing tech reviews blended with unique entertainment. If you like what you see, do subscribe to our channel or like or share our videos. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again soon.